Welcome to part 7 of the HMS Valiant build up. We've got some more work done to the kit that I thought I'd share with you. Um, we haven't got a lot of work done to it because I was off all work last week and um, as Murphy's Law would dictate when you're off you try and do some work to the model kit but then life just takes over. <laughs> But uh, we've got um, a few of the uh, bits done on the back end. So we've got these uh, four bits in at the back end there. And we've also got the machine gun nest in at the back. We've also got another two machine gun nests in at the back end there. Uh, and another two on this side here as well. And then if we can just move this bit around. It's a bit stiff this one. There you go. You'll see there's uh, uh, another little bit of plastic that we've got in there. Really not sure what they are, to be quite honest. But that you can't really see too well, actually, to be quite honest, because when the gun um, is in the forward position, it does cover it up. We've also got the catapult launch system uh, in place. And at the front end, we've actually got the chains in place too. These just still need to be um, sort of spot glued, really, down the length of the ship. I'll use the canopy glue for that, that'll be okay. Um, but that's about as far as we got. One of the other things I have actually noticed, though, um, and you most probably, hopefully, you can see it uh, just there. We've got an issue, a little issue with the deck um, plating where it keeps on rising up, and then another one uh, there as well and there's also a couple of other little spots around there so what I'm going to need to do is get in there with a little thin uh, thin film of canopy glue and uh, hopefully sort of press those down and keep those in place one of the other things that we've been uh, doing as well is uh, we've got the um, decking painted the darker grey colour that we need to uh, that just needs another coat on there Basically, I had to hand paint that in, um, so I thinned the paint right down on that one, just so it doesn't leave any uh, brush marks in there. So that's looking quite good. Uh, we've also got two of the little uh, boats done as well. So that's the first one that I did, that I did um, and that's got quite a lot of photo etch. Uh, all of those bottom bits there, they're all photo etch. Uh, the actual uh, wooden deck is uh, two bits of photo etch. Uh, this top part here is also photo etch, and then this back end here is photo etch, and then this bit there is uh, also photo etch as well. So that's not looking too bad. That's uh, coming along quite nicely. I just need to get the uh, the two propellers uh, on the back end there. Just need to clean up the uh, the photo etch because I did get a bit of overspray on the uh, the propellers but that won't uh, take too long to clean up. Uh, this is one of the other uh, types of uh, boat that we've got done. Uh, and again, this part is photo etched. The, um, well, that's the only part actually that's photo etched on the top there. Uh, and then we've also got this part down here which is photo etched. And again, we just need to get the propeller on there. Um, but those two little boats are done and looking quite good. Uh, one thing that I have noticed with the instructions on this, and again, something that's not been made too clear at all, is these grey bits, uh, they are the supports, or they're meant to be the supports, uh, for the little uh, motor launches. Um, we've got two boats, one that sits there and one that sits there. That's not so bad, I can deal with those ones. The biggest problem, however, and this is something that the instructions didn't actually mention, was that all of these little parts up here um, need to be removed in favour of these bits. So what I've now got to do is very carefully go along and remove all of those bits and then repaint the whole top of that bit there uh, and hopefully get the shade exactly right. I mean it's the same paint from the same pot so hopefully it shouldn't be too much uh, trouble to do that. Uh, uh, and then as I say just get that completely repainted and then get the 
get those on once it's done. Now the good thing is, is the fact that this hasn't had a clear coat on it yet, so I'm kind of hoping that by the time we've blended the paint in on the top and then put the clear coat over, if there are any discrepancies in the shade of paint, uh, that should actually hopefully take care of it. But that's uh, kind of where we are at the moment, so I just need to go along, finish off the, uh, the painting on the top decks of that ship, uh, the uh, full superstructure, uh, get those bits removed off of uh, the middle superstructure, uh, get that repainted and then once that's done I'll be able to then clear coat that. Um, and there's a f few more little boats to, to build as well. Um, but that's about where I am at the moment, so I'm just going to carry on, get some more work done to this, and I will come back to you as soon as I've got some uh, more progress done to it. Okay, so as you can see uh, from uh, the mess up there now, uh, we've actually got all of the little pegs removed. Uh, I've tidied that up as best as I possibly can whilst it's all attached. Unfortunately, I can't really take any of this off. Um, I'm just going to need to sort of continue going over that with a little bit more sandpaper to see if I can get that any smoother. Um, but uh, hopefully by the time that's all painted again and you've got all the boats on there, if there are any little sort of minor steps in there, you're not really going to see them. Because uh, this, this part of the deck here is, is really crowded anyway. So I'm not too worried, but I do want to try and get it as best as I possibly can. So I'm just going to continue on that and uh, get that sanded down a bit more. Uh, as soon as I've done that and uh, I've got it recoated, I'll, I'll come back to you. Okay, so we've got some uh, more uh, really fiddly bits done to this uh, model now. Uh, if we take a look, we've got uh, at the back here, uh, we've got the uh, the little machine guns nest uh, fully fully done now with the machine guns in and then we've got the four machine guns there as well that are in place now and then we've also got uh, a little machine gun just there and there's also one uh, on the other side in there as well we've also managed to get the uh, the castles in place as well on both sides and there's some more there and uh, more there as well and some just there and it's exactly the same on the other side as well uh, the other thing that we managed to do is get the water break in uh, or sorry bent into the shape that actually took a little bit of time to do that's quite fiddly actually because you need to get the angles absolutely spot on for this so that just took a little bit of time to do once that was done I just uh, then taped it down or sorry placed it on a little bit of frog tape just so I could paint it, then clear coated it, and then I was able to uh, get that glued on. We've also got um, four more little bits in there as well. And as you can see there, there's a little hole there, uh, but I'm not sure what's going in that little hole. And on the instructions, I can't actually see anything uh, that tells me to go that, that goes in that little hole. So. I've got a, a suspicion that it's most probably one of these little, uh, another little bit like this that goes in that hole. Um, but I'm going to need to wait really until it's almost finished to see if I am correcting that. But it, again, you know, with these instructions, they're not exactly clear, and I can't see anything that's pointing towards that hole. Um, the other thing that we've done as well with these little anchor chains, we've now got those glued in place with a little bit of canopy glue. Uh, so they're in there now and they're not going anywhere so they won't uh, wiggle about anymore so that's fantastic so that's those little jobs done uh, I've also been uh, working on uh, another one of the little boats so we've got the uh, the hull there and that's what that's uh, starting to look like uh, on the bottom here we just need to put in the uh, propeller shaft and the little propeller uh, we've also got the uh, one of the one of the two decks that go on this uh, little boat. Uh, this one goes uh, actually inside, and as you can see there, we've got some um, decking showing through. So this basically uh, fits in uh, that gap inside there, like so. Uh, that. The good thing is with this, I can actually glue that in with canopy glue. That's not a problem. I won't need to use super glue with that one. 
Then we've got the top deck, uh, and as you can hopefully see on that, we've got some pretty good um, decking effects on that as well, which is great. Uh, and then we've just got that bit that's in the middle there that you can see that's fairly smooth. We've just got uh, a couple of little superstructures that go there. So this bit uh, would just sit on the top there like so. And then again I can actually just uh, use the canopy glue to put that in place. And then uh, on my little bottle with a little bit of frog tape on it, I've got the three uh, little superstructure bits that go on the top. So we've got this little front bit here, uh, that goes at the very front. This is the uh, the rear section and then this bit here is the middle section. Now if I put my little pinky there, um, you can actually see the size of those bits. So they are quite tiny. And then with the middle superstructure you can see there, we've I had to glue two really small railings onto the top of that section of the, uh, the ship as well. Uh, so they're quite small. Now I reckon by the time I've actually finished bending all of this photo etch and adding little bits of photo etch to other little bits of photo etch, by my calculations, by the time I'm finished with this, I should be able to write on a grain of rice. But we soon find out. Um, so all I need to do to these now is get those painted white and then add them to the top of the ship. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the little boat. That will then be another little boat finished, which would be fantastic news. Uh, I'll only then have uh, another three to go, uh, which would be great because they're, they're quite fiddly and quite time consuming as you can imagine. So I'm going to leave this video a bit here, um, and so I didn't get a video out last week because uh, I was off and I was a bit too busy. So I'm going to leave this video here and get this one, um, get this video out. So thanks for watching and please do take care.